Hi, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Today I'm excited because we're going to make a couple of very simple, low-cost upgrades to this vintage Gibson. So when you talk about making upgrades to a vintage guitar, for a lot of people they want to be careful and not do anything that might damage the guitar or alter it for resale purposes, things like that. So the two improvements I'm talking about today are a couple of very simple ones that are absolutely non-invasive and can really actually make a difference to the guitar's sound. And we're going to check that out too. We're going to make some comparisons. I'm going to record uh, how the guitar sounds right now before we make the improvements and using the exact same settings, same distance to the mic, everything else, we're going to be doing an A-B test where we can take a, a listen to how the sound has changed, if at all. We're going to find out. So the first improvement we're going to make is to add a Mitchell's plate mate to the guitar. Now what this is, this is a small piece of metal with six holes in it. It goes underneath the bridge on the inside of the guitar and because it's a piece of metal it allows the ball end of the strings to pull up against the metal instead of digging into the wood underside of the bridge. So this is something that creates a different level of resonance into the bridge itself and then through the top of the guitar. So if all goes well, I expect we're going to hear a little bit more volume output from the guitar and probably a little bit more clarity. But we'll see. We're going to give this a fair shot and we're going to see what difference it actually makes. Now there's one other change we're going to make and that is to add bone bridge pins because this guitar has the original plastic bridge pins that came with it. Gibson uh, you know, never put bone into these and the common wisdom is that bone bridge pins again add resonance. So we're going to actually try these two improvements at a total cost of under $50 and we're going to find out did it really make the difference we were hoping for. When I'm wearing red I'm playing the guitar before it had the upgrades and when I'm in this color you know that it's the guitar after the upgrades. I'm really curious to know what you think. Do you like it better after the upgrades or not? Would love to know. So let's do a little A-B test now that we've got it all gussied up. So this is the sound of the J50 prior to making those improvements. So if we play like a little piece of free falling, let's say. Let's try something finger-picked, like uh, Blossom from James Taylor. So I know what I'm hearing on my end. I don't hear a large amount of difference in the bass. Seems to be like the bass response is still very similar. I do think the overall volume may be up. Not a lot, maybe a couple of dB. We're gonna measure that too. And I am hearing more upper mid range and what I might call air on the top end. I think it'll record beautifully with a high quality condenser mic. It's loud.
there's your guitar discovery for the day. Some inexpensive upgrades that you can do to any vintage guitar. Mitchell's Plate Mate under the bridge prevents damage to the bridge, transfers more energy to the top of the guitar, and bone bridge pins. Just kind of giving your guitar that extra nudge, getting away from plastic, which a lot of guitars even back in the 60s and 70s had, and upgrading to something that you know is really high quality. So hope you'll join me again for future guitar discoveries. Please subscribe. See you again soon.